Throughout the Second World War, there were a huge number of people who were sent to the concentration camps within Nazi Germany. There were a number of evil male and female guards who worked in these sites and made the lives of prisoners a complete misery, carrying out public executions of prisoners on a daily basis. But inside of Mauthausen, the conditions there were terrible and shocking. It was known for being one of the most brutal camps, with the working conditions being an attempt to exterminate as many people as possible at Mauthausen through working. But inside of the camp was a woman who had acted in around 25 different films, and she was a well thought of actress. However, she would be brutally slaughtered inside of the camp and was executed. Anna Letenska's downfall and death was one which was brutal and barbaric. Join us today to look at the execution of the actress of Mauthausen, and to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Anna Letenska was born in August 1904 inside of Austria Hungary, and she was raised around the theatre and around show business. Her parents and her sister were actors, and while she was a child, Anna made her first appearance on stage in front of a crowd. But her professional career began in 1919, when she joined the Sokova Kramulova Theatre Company, and she then went to work in different companies inside of different towns. She travelled well, but while she worked with one company, she met her husband, an opera actor named Ludwig Fredlicka, whose stage name was Letensky. The pair then got married in January 1925, and they then had a son who later became an actor. However, despite being married for 15 years, their marriage did come to an end, and the couple divorced in 1940, as the Second World War had broken out. But they had moved to Prague in 1936, and Anna continued to perform in the Czech theatre, and she performed a number of different characters, with her niche being down-to-earth women characters, who had a comic side to them. But then Anna Letenska moved into the big screen and performing in films. Her film debut came in 1937, but then further films came quickly as many people in Czechoslovakia spotted her talents and they wanted Anna inside of their productions. She played minor and major roles, however as the Second World War broke out and the German occupation of Czechoslovakia came, Anna's whole life would come crashing down. Adolf Hitler annexed the Sudetenland area of Czechoslovakia following the Munich Agreement, but he then went further and he would proclaim on the 16th of March 1939 the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia. This was a region under German occupation, but the Czech regions were considered important for Hitler's plans for the Second World War, as the industry would be pivotal for the war effort, creating tanks, armament and much more. Reinhard Heydrich was brought in to administer a brutal regime, and he became known as a butcher of Prague, and he wanted to instill fear, but keep the country productive. Executions of people were carried out in public in front of huge crowds. Heydrich continued his reign of terror, however on the 27th of May 1942, two British-trained Czech assassins ambushed and wounded fatally Heydrich, and a few days later he died. The Nazis following this ordered a huge crackdown on the Czechs, as they were shocked about what had happened. They searched the whole area they were overseeing and investigated almost 5 million people and they were looking for the assassins who they later came across. However, around this time, Anna Letenska was working on a film and she then married an architect. Before the German occupation, her husband had been involved in helping people who had been persecuted and he had been expelled from Slovakia. But in Prague, Anna's husband continued to help people who were being persecuted by the Nazis and he helped people leave the country. But Kalun, Anna's husband, was linked to a group which was connected to the assassins of Heydrich, and with this he fell under suspicion. But Anna was given shelter to a man who was then arrested by the Gestapo for resistance activities. She remained working in films whilst under Gestapo surveillance, and it was said at this time whilst on camera that, throughout this time Anna Letenska would sit with her head held between her hands, although she appeared as cheerful as she could be in front of the camera. We understood that she was preparing herself to die. Following the end of the production of her final film, Anna Letensk was arrested and she was thrown in prison. It's believed that she was released briefly so she could end her employment at the theatre, and she was in floods of tears. Another actor said that he met her on a tram, and Anna said, They summoned me to an interrogation at Gestapo again. What could they ask me? 
This man said he never saw her again. As she was arrested, she was forced into a Gestapo car, and she then dropped a photograph which she was then allowed to pick up. But this image she then gave to her cellmates before she was executed, and this picture then allegedly got back to the theatre where she worked at after the war. But while she was being interrogated, Anna Latensk was imprisoned at Pankrat Prison, where the Nazis would take the heads of dozens of people on the guillotine. She was then transferred to Thersenstadt concentration camp on the 5th of October 1942, and then within a couple of weeks she was transferred to Mauthausen, along with a transport of 135 women and girls, who were known as the parachutists. These were considered those who were related to Heydrich's assassination in some way. Mauthausen concentration camp was a huge site, in which 190,000 inmates were housed within the barbed wire fences, and it's believed that more than 90,000 people died there. The camp was brutal, and it was considered one of the most severe concentration camps. The prisoners from Mauthausen suffered malnutrition, and there was a severe overcrowding inside the huts, and the guards would constantly beat and execute inmates. The aim of Mauthausen was for the prisoners to be exterminated by labour, but as the war continued, the average calorie for a prisoner dropped below a third of what they needed. There was a rock quarry at Mauthausen, and there was also the stairs of death that led to it, a series of 186 large uneven steps in which prisoners were driven up and down, carrying very heavy blocks of rock many times a day. If a prisoner fell onto the next, then serious injuries would occur, and the SS even pushed the inmates off the cliff. It was estimated that the average life expectancy of the inmates of Mauthausen was around six months from when they got into the camp, but towards the end of the conflict this went down to around three months. Within weeks, the prisoners would be dead. When Anna Latenska arrived at the camp along with the other women, they were locked into an area of the camp which was for privileged criminal inmates. But the following day, she was then sent to a consulting room for a medical experimentation or examination. However, the reality of this medical room was that it was actually a makeshift execution chamber. Inside a number of concentration camps, these chambers did exist. Most of them had a hatch behind a ruler, which was used to measure height, and when the prisoner had their height measured, an SS executioner would open the hatch and fire the pistol into the inmate's neck, and with this they were killed, before the chamber was quickly cleaned down, ready for the next victim. It was completely barbaric and relied on the element of surprise and secrecy. The women were taken into this room one by one for their medical exam, and Anna Latensky was led into the room. Every two minutes, the women were led in, and then at 10.56, Anna was led into the medical facility, which was then shot dead by an executioner on the 24th of October, 1942. What was barbaric was that the Nazis kept a distinct record of her execution, and of the names of those who were executed in this way, and her husband was also killed in a similar way. Two months after Anna was executed, her final film was premiered. She was a very talented theatre and big screen actor, and she had a number of roles and was destined for big things. However, through her second husband's involvement in the resistance activities, she was linked to the act of Reinhard Heydrich's assassination. She did not last long inside of Mauthausen, as the SS and the Nazis had plans for her, and the other women who were sent there. They had been all marked for execution, and the element of deceit involved in her death was horrific, but she was one of thousands of people who were condemned in this way during the Second World War. Anna Latensk's story is one which deserves to be remembered, and today she is commemorated as the actress of Mauthausen. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.